8th graders and welcome to lesson 9-2 on displaying frequency. So here we've got, we're going to learn about a frequency table and a line plot. Okay, so we got a cat who's got all different body temperatures and we want to organize it in something called a line plot. So these are really useful for either comparing amounts, finding the most common value, or identifying outliers. All right, and we use little X's to show each time that that data appears. So this says, the table above shows body temperatures of some cats. Use the data to make a line plot. And this is how we make a line plot. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for all of the different values that happen up here. Okay, so we've got 101, 102, 100, and we want to look for the range. So our smallest value, it looks like, is 100, and our largest value is 104. So I'm going to write those numbers along the bottom right here. So I draw a line right here, and then I write 100, 101, 102, 103, and 104, showing the range that all my data will fall within. And I always label so that way we know that this is temperature down bottom. And now I'm just going to go through, and every time I see one, I'm going to put an X above that. So I've got 101, so then down here, I would do a little X by 101, and I would cross this one off, then 102. So I would do a little X by 102, and I would cross this one off. And that's all they did, is they went through, and every time that they saw the number, they drew an X down here. So each X represents one cat's temperature. Okay, and they show the range from 100 to 104, and that is a line plot. So when I'm looking at this, I can immediately see which temperature was the most common, 101, because there's the most X's there. If I wanted to find the median of this data, I could do that. I would work my way in. I would cross off there, cross off here, cross off one of those, cross off here, cross off one of those, cross off here. And I would find out where my median is. Most is mode is easy to find. For mean, we're going to look at how you would use this to find the mean on the next page. But first, try the quick check. Go ahead and make a line plot. For these human body temperatures, you're going to start with a line down bottom, and then you're going to find your range of which numbers occur. Write each of those numbers down here, and then you're going to do X's for each time they appear. All right, so to use the mean, you in, in order to find the mean of the data using a line plot, this is what you got to do. You're going to multiply every time that 100 happens, so however many X's were above 100, you'll multiply it by that number. So in our last data set, you can look at it, there was only one X above 100, so we multiply 1 times 100. Then we're going to add that to how many times did 101 occur? 5 times. There was 5 X's, so we'll multiply it times 5. 102 happened four times, 103 was one time, 104 was one time. So we always multiply before we add, so we'll multiply all of those, then we'll add them together. And then on the bottom, you're going to, down here we need to know how many numbers we actually were um, adding up here. So that's going to be all these numbers, 1, 5, 4, 1, 1. We're going to add all those numbers up, and then we'll divide them. So for the cat, we can see that when they add them all up, they got 1,220. They divided it by the 12 that they got when they added those numbers, and they ended up with a mean of 101.7. Okay? Now the next thing says to find the median and the mode in example one. So I already told you how to do that. I would like you to go back and do that and tell, write it in right here of what you found the median and the mode was. Now a frequency table shows how often items occur in a set of data. A histogram is basically just a bar graph without spaces and we already did one of those in one of our recent labs. 
So here is your last example problem. We have some brands of batteries last longer than others. Make a frequency table and a histogram for the data on hours of battery life. And then here is our data. So the first thing they ask for is a frequency table. A frequency table, you're just going to draw a very simple table. Then you're going to organize your data into um, categories, equal parts, like equal sized, so is that right here, intervals that begin with multiples of five. So we're going to try to find some nice and easy intervals. They don't always have to be by fives, but you want nice and easy intervals. And the first thing we do for that is also look for our range. What is our smallest number that we need to incorporate? And what is our biggest number? So our biggest number looks like it's 22. So we need to go up to 22. And so we're, we're going to probably what would be easy is to just do this. So we're going to begin with five. So we've got five to nine, 10 to 14, 15 to 19, 20 to 24, and then below that to make sure that we incorporate it equally with equal interv intervals. And now I'm gonna look at my data and I'm just gonna make a little tally mark every time I see one. So 12, where will 12 fall in here? in between 15 and 19, so I make a little mark. What about nine, right here? What about 10, right here? What about 14, right here? What about 10? And I just make my little tallies, and when I'm all done, and I've marked all of these off and tallied them up, then I'll look here, and I'll write the frequency, which is how many times the tallies occurred. So I've got one tally, here I have eight tallies, one tally, two tallies. Now I can take this information and put it into a histogram, okay? So on this histogram, it's, it's just a bar graph. Down bottom, I have the same things that I wrote over here with my hours. And then I just, on this side, have the frequency written. So I look for, for my range. I go from zero to eight. I wanna go a little higher than eight. I wanna break it into equal intervals. So I'm going to count up by twos, zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. And then I just mark where each thing is. So in zero to four, it was zero. In five to nine, it goes to one. In 10 to 14, eight. In 15 to 19, one. In 20 to 24, two. And they're all gonna bump into each other with a histogram, there's no spaces between them. Make sure you put your title up top and you're done. So this is what a histogram is. All right, go ahead and get to work.